Hey, what's up everyone? Michelle here, and I'm here with my dad again. Say hi, my dad. Uh, thanks for coming on. You're welcome. <laughs> it's, a treat. it's a treat. So today, we're going to be making hummus. When I was growing up, my dad would make homemade fresh hummus. It's an easy recipe and uh, I, I enjoy eating it, I enjoy making it. Yeah, and as you guys know, uh, for anyone who's living on a budget, uh, you can save a ton of money. I mean, vegans eat hummus all the time. So you can save a ton of money just by making it yourself. It's so quick and easy. It lasts in the fridge for like a week. And uh, yeah, we're gonna show you a simple, basic hummus recipe. It's great for vegan potlucks. Yes, my dad goes to vegan, is not vegan, but he goes to vegan potlucks. And he'll bring, bring the hummus. Yeah, but it's homemade, so everyone jokes about vegans always bringing like store-bought hummus to potlucks. Okay, well, if you've got a few minutes, you just make it. Yeah, yeah you get extra brownie points for making it yourself. So what is in this? It's really simple. It's just chickpeas, aka garbanzo beans. Uh, you can use these canned varieties, um, or you can make them yourself in like a pressure cooker or on the stove, whatever. I keep it simple. And what we're gonna do today, usually you put in like a quarter cup of olive oil. We're gonna cut the olive oil because you don't need extra oil. And instead we're gonna use some of this chickpea brine. That's what I use. Yeah, like the moisture and the thick creaminess without all of the, just that pure fat. <clears throat> and we already had to have a lot of decadence from tahini. You know what tahini's made from? Uh, sesame seeds. Yes, so it's basically ground up toasted sesame seeds. Toasted or untoasted. Uh, this is just ground whole organic sesame seeds. And we sure took the sesame oil with the, uh, oh, yeah. the paste. That's the hardest part of the, uh, <laughs> the recipe is stirring that <laughs> tahini and making it smooth and then yeah. putting it in the, uh, the blender. Yeah, it's like when you get natural peanut butter and it separates and you're like, oh, damn you, I just want to eat the peanut butter. Salt, cumin, this is optional, but it gives a really good flavor, nice flavor and it's yeah. pretty typical in classic hummus. And then I like to sprinkle paprika on top with like a drizzle of olive oil. That's what I do. Yeah, it makes it look fancy and nice it's delicious. Nice spicy kick. Oh, lime. Yeah, lime juice, lime uh, juice. in the blender uh, yeah. for, for some liquid and some, some nice uh, acidity. Yes, and then And garlic. I use garlic powder, but we have real garlic today. Well, my dad like butchered this with the last recipe we made, so we have to use it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to make this. We're making it in a food processor. You can also make it in a high power powered blender, like a Vitamix, but a traditional blender probably won't work. Um, so a food processor is really easy. You can pick these up really affordably. I can put a link below um, to where you can get it on Amazon. And a, a yeah. strong a strong blender will work. Will work. Anyway. We are going to make this. I'm and ready. Let's go. And this is our hummus. It looks amazing. It came out super creamy. Um, do you want to try it? Let's try it. I love this stuff. Great snack. Mm. Okay. It is so creamy and delicious. Honestly, you do not need the oil in there. You can just swap in the uh, chicken pea brine like we did. And it's so good. The key is to let that food processor run for quite a while. Like, a minute, two minutes, just keep letting it run. And it'll look chunky, but when you stick a smooth in there, you'll see it smooth out really beautifully. Yeah. When I do it in a, uh, a blender, I start out with the uh, liquids and the garbanzo beans. Mm -hmm. 
and then add the heavier stuff, the uh, tahini. Yeah, that's how I've always done it too, but I saw a video today, which is like one of the most rated, highly rated recipes on the internet of um, hummus, and they say the secret is blending tahini with the acidic lemon or lime first, and I don't understand why that would work. Maybe the physicist can tell us, but it changes the consistency of the tahini, and apparently helps. I don't know, this is really good. The other thing about um, hummus recipes is they say that if you take the skin off the chickpeas, you'll get a creamier hummus, and I did that one time. And it took like 25 minutes to get the skin off each individual chickpea, and it was the best hummus I've ever had. It was really good, but I don't think it's worth the, worth the time, and this is so creamy on its own, you know? Came out great. Yeah. All right, so guys, let us know down below, have you ever made your own hummus? If not, does this inspire you to? I, realizing how quick and easy this is, it's literally like five minutes uh, from start very, to finish. Very easy recipe. Done, and you have hummus for the week, and you save so much money. So this is now like what I do. I've stopped buying hummus in the store for the most part. Um, the other thing you can do is you can mix it up. Uh, you can add in things like olives, you could add jalapenos, you could add roasted garlic, oh, instead of that. fresh garlic. We topped ours, as we mentioned, with oil, paprika, and then some chopped parsley. Chopped parsley, yeah. Which really makes it look super nice, pro. Nice color. Nice color. <laughs> yeah. So thank you guys so much for joining us. If you love my dad, you can't find him on anywhere on the internet. <laughs> Typically, so just tell him so in the comments. We love you very much. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up this video. I'll see you later. Bye.